So the last topic will be our brushes. And um, we use them for to, to locate some guides. So I mean elevator guides or order guides that we have here. You can see here on the on on the table also uh, the example of the application. We have we have one of our standard brush. That's uh, of course uh, Sima loop stuff. There is no uh, <clears throat> there's no standard stuff that you can buy in in some shop. This is especially Sima loop stuff. You have here the guide. Okay, this should show a guide that you have on an elevator. On each side of the elevator cabin, you have such guides, and uh, there is one one to twenty-five milli here screwed on. It's very simple, but just screwed on like that. The oil goes here inside. And there is also a felt inside and go exactly to the bristles. The bristles, they are, <coughs> they are on springs, so they, they go exactly on the, on the <coughs> rail, on the guide to lubricate them and also to have a good lubrication, but not the over lubrication. And this is the advantage of these kind of brushes that you have the right lubrication, but there is no oil here on the back, and so we're saying that's on older systems uh, happen often. Uh, Tom will move the camera to to our model to show you a little bit <coughs> live what would be. Yes, this is the application. Okay. So you see here we have a lubrication. Uh, maybe this side we have a lubrication here, but on the bottom everything is clean. Okay, moves up and down, and the brush is nicely on the guide on three sides from the on each side here and on this side also. This makes uh, uh, that the cabin is is running smoothly. There is no noise or less noise that without lubrication, and we have a second uh, one, a bigger, a bigger one, to simulate the, the up and down movement of a of a cabin. I go on the side and I let Tom to show you. Yes. So you can see it's moving up and down, and we have the guides of each side. This a little gray one, dark gray one, and we have our two brushes mounted on. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Well, so the question before was about the kind of brushes that we have. I just take these a little bit on this side, and I will show you the brushes that we have. It's always the same design, if you can say, with a little differences. We have here the smaller one, okay, from four to 16 milli. The brushes, as you can see, they are all on spring, okay, all three. These are the bigger one. Okay, you see also the movement of the bristles. Okay, and the last baby, these are the, the big one. Okay. That we have done for these robots that you have in high storage on. And this is for sizes from 40, to 50 milli, right? The, the principle for everyone is the, are the same. I will show you this on that little cut. Is inside we have also a felt. The seam loop is screwed on here. And the felt is completely put on with oil and will distribute it to the bristles of the brush. It's the same system, if you want, as the 
flat brushes that we had before. So do not remove it here, okay? Let them in, the, the, of, of course the, the brushes are closed, but there are some little screws that you could, you could disassemble, you can disassemble it, but please let it in. Okay, fine. Show you uh, uh, about a little bit how our last brush, the big brush could move. We have this big guide that I have here, Oplops, a square tube here. Okay, this tube has now a square 40 by 40 milli and it's going up like that and moving up and down like that, moving up and down like that. Okay, maybe we could make a little leg like that so you can see it. Yeah, it's moving up and down like that. We have done an application uh, in Italy for that. You will see it on the on the on the slides. Of, uh, that uh, Eve will show you. Uh, that will be about all about brushes. Uh, maybe you can see also here. Uh, you have we have the bracket. I put just put that there. Yes, we have here the brackets. This bracket where the 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 brush is on. Okay. This is one of our standard brackets uh, that we have for these kind of brushes. You see, there are a lot of holes inside. This is to make it so to have it for the most of application. So you have the choice to use what hole for the screw for the screw it on. We have them also in a set. Okay, this is a set of two brushes with two uh, brackets that I show you and the screws going with. What I would like to show you also with this big brush, okay, you can use it also for round guides like that. Have a long tube like that and going up and down. This tube now has 50 milli, it's a round one, okay, moving up and down like that and does lubricate on three sides of the tube. And this is fairly enough for the elevator. Yeah, lubrication for guide rails, um, especially used in, in elevator applications. It's not, all, it's not only uh, human elevators, it can also be goods like in big bay warehouses and um, and uh, also uh, any kind of, of glides, what, what you may um, have on a conveyor belt or whatever. But here it's shown some elevators. Yeah, the different brushes that Mark has just explained, a very thin one on the, on the left side, then we have a bigger square one here. And then um, another example here, it's, it's mounted with, with the bracket um, on, on top of the, of the elevator itself. 